This is a demonstration of the My Moments app and the process of creating an expressive image. I'm starting on the main screen and from here I will first click on Load Image in order to bring up my camera roll. I'll select the camera roll, I'll see all my photographs, and I'm going to select the image at the very end here that will now appear in the My Moments editing screen. I've actually selected this particular image as a starting point for expressing a personal journey, essentially telling a story through an image. Now across the top you'll see four suggested steps for creating an expressive image. Compose, Tune, Style, and Finish. You don't actually need to work in this sequence, but we find that it's often helpful for people to have a logical process to follow, and so we've organized the My Moments app around these four steps. For each step, the various options that are available appear on the left side. So I'll go back to Compose, and the first option that I will select is Crop. From here, it's simply a matter of me dragging the corners and the edges of the image around, and then I can move the highlighted area until I get the actual composition that I'm looking for. From here, I press the green check mark to accept the change. The green check mark always means accept, and the red X means cancel. So I'll press the green check mark, and that's now my new image. Now I'll move to Tune, and you'll see a new set of options coming on the left side. So I might explore this a little bit. I'll pick Brightness. And from here, it's simply a matter of me taking my finger and swiping left or right anywhere on the image to adjust the intensity of the effect. When I'm done, I press the green check mark. Now I'll explore Vibrance. And again, I'll just swipe left and right. And I know that I want my journey to tell a positive, happy story. So I'm adding the maximum amount of vibrance I can and I'll press the green check mark. But actually, if I go back into Vibrance again, I can even increase the amount until I get it just to the point that I want, and then I'll accept that change. Now we'll go into Style, and you'll see there are three categories of styles on the left side. And this is just an accordion that I can open up. Realistic effects, Impressionist, and Abstract. So I'll start by exploring. I'll pick Highlight, and I'll swipe left and right to change that effect, but I, this isn't yet the story that I want to tell, so I'm going to press the red X to cancel. I can pick X-ray, it's quite a dramatic change to the image. I'm going to X out of that one. I'll go down into Impressionist and select Edges. Again, a lot of change, but not quite ready to pick that for my story. I can actually put these effects on top of each other, so let's say I select Blur, and I'll adjust that to about here. I'll press the green check mark this time, and then I'll go back up into Realistic and pick Cartoon and apply that effect, and you'll see this kind of abstract effect that I get on the image. But I'm not ready yet uh, for this to be my story either, so I'm going to press the red X. Now here we tell people that it's always safe. I can't make a mistake, and the reason is because we can always go backwards. So we had applied the blur effect, but if I go to the arrow in the top right, which is really the undo arrow, I can go backwards as many steps as I want, or I can go forward. So it's impossible to make a mistake because I can always go backwards. Now finally, if I go into the abstract effects, pick something like gravel, you'll see what that does on the image. Now I'm ready to start telling my story. And as I'm looking at this path, I see that there are areas that have shadows and, and gravel. And what occurs to me is maybe I can use that to help tell the story of obstacles that I still need to overcome as I'm on my journey. So I'll go back to edges, but this time instead of applying the effect on the whole screen, which is the default mode, and you'll see the paint can in the top left where it essentially spills the effect onto the whole image, I'll pick the brush and then with my finger I can brush that effect, in this case the edges effect, any place that I'd like on the image. And I'm brushing it on the pathway here, and as I'm doing it, I'm thinking about how this now represents these obstacles that I still have in my journey that I want to use to help express my story. So I'll accept that change. And now as I'm looking at the image, I'm paying attention now to the fence. And I think to myself that that fence provides a guide and, and some sense of protection that often in my life, it's not always so clear what that path forward is. So I remembered I have this blur effect, and I'll go back and pick that, but this time I'll pick the brush, 
and with my finger I will brush the blur onto the fence again to represent that my path forward is in life is not always quite so clear. When I'm done brushing I'll accept that change with the green check mark and now perhaps the last part of my story is going to talk about the end of my journey and how at the end there's a brighter place for me. So remember I don't need to do the steps at the top in sequence so I can go back to tune and again pick brightness and this time I'll pick the brush again and I will paint brightness coming out at the end of the trail again to signify a brighter time that's ahead of me in life. The more I paint the brighter that it gets. When I'm all set with that I'll accept that change and actually if I put my finger anywhere on the image it will show me what the original photograph was. It really gives me a sense of accomplishment for what I've been able to express with this image. When I'm all done I press finish and we encourage people to create captions to capture the essence of their image. So my caption here might be as simple as my journey ahead. I'll accept that change and this might be my final image. When I'm done I can press save and this image saves on my own device. But let's say I'm part of a group. If I press send and it asks me now if I want to send this image it now gets sent to a secure website where either the clinician or the teacher or the facilitator um, along with any other images created by other members of my group can now um, view those images. It can be these images can now be shared, display, displayed in slideshows, printed on cards or in books, and made available in a variety of other ways. So thank you for watching and I hope you've found this demonstration to be helpful.